Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Saturday, April 26th, 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. A major plasma filament erupted from the sun earlier today. The good news, it's headed away from Earth. Bad news, we have a severe storm threat for the Northern Plains through Monday night. Keep calm. It's boom time. Severe weather tornadoes clobber Texas. Multiple tornadoes were spawned in the Texas Panhandle and other parts of the plains on Thursday night. And this video from Storm Chasers shows what those powerful storms looked like. South of Amarillo, there were tornadoes that spun across the land and very large hail that left car windshields damaged. Check it out. Storm chasers were very busy in northwestern Texas on Thursday night. Oh my. Just look at how large this tornado was as it tore across the land at dusk. Holy moly. First, the good news. There haven't been any confirmations of serious injuries or major damage from this round of powerful storms. Now, the bad. Just look at the damage done to these vehicles by massive hail. How big was the hail? Remember DVDs? Yeah, some of the hailstones were that big. And we have more footage here from the storms that moved across Texas and Oklahoma. And dust clouds across the panhandle. Hail beating on cars and blocking visibility on the roads. Oh my gosh. Tonight, Texas and Oklahoma recovering from a string of dangerous storms. Another tornado, guys. Yep. Neighborhoods outside of Amarillo littered with debris after two tornadoes touched down. This house in Canyon, Texas, the roof ripped straight off. Downed trees, fences destroyed. Near Oklahoma City, lightning sparking several house fires. I heard this ridiculously loud boom. The mirror exploded. I mean, it was a miracle that I did not get cut up. I could feel the heat coming out of it. In Lawton, Oklahoma, fire crews rescuing children in boats on flooded roads and parking lots. Oh, no. People also helping their pets trek through feet of water. Hail pelting backyards. Two million under weather alerts. As Texas and Oklahoma clean up, the threat moves north tomorrow as these late season storms continue across the region. Ryan Chandler, NBC News. And unfortunately, April to end with widespread severe weather threat in the Midwest and the Plains continuing, including possible strong tornadoes. Prepare for the possibility of tornadoes, high winds, and huge hail. Severe storms Monday night. Extreme in from Minneapolis to Chicago and Omaha, and it gets lesser as you move out from the bullseye. But the severe th storm threat goes from the Great Lakes all the way through central Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. Severe storms move east slightly Tuesday night from Abilene up north towards Syracuse, New York. Columbus, you're in the fray. St. Louis, Little Rock, Oklahoma City, Dallas, all could be seeing some of the severe weather action. And here is the hail map for Friday, April 25th. 11,304 households affected by one inch or larger hail, a 28 square mile region. Most of that was in New Mexico and Texas. Gorilla hail was impacting 4,723 homes and cars. We did see that video there. This is hail 1.75 inches or larger, seven square miles of the Gorilla hail Friday, April 25th. And now the full forecast. Scattered severe storms to continue over the central and southern plains this weekend. Snow in the Sierra Nevada. Scattered strong to severe thunderstorms will persist over the central to southern high plains this weekend with a severe weather and flash flooding threat. A late season storm will bring low elevation rain and high elevation snow to portions of California, Nevada, and Oregon through the weekend. Winter weather advisories are in place for the Sierra for snow totals three to six inches and locally higher. Take a quick look at the GFS model. We can see some severe weather on the East Coast will be moving offshore and we can see where that severe weather threat explodes over the northern plains in the coming days. 
precipitation and moisture. Let's take a look at the total snowfall. And you can see here, we'll walk it through Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There's the snow on the ground in the west. The biggest totals could be up to a foot in southern Montana there. But you can see the snow widespread through Nevada. Some portions of Colorado there picking up snow as well, especially on Tuesday here and into Wednesday. So good news for the Colorado high country. We need the snow. Looks like a May storm in the first week of May will light up the peaks here in the west. Take a look at that. Good news for the snowpack. Shut up, Al. Get your hole. Al Gore can't believe the GFS model, but we can. Seismic update, no quakes of note. Interesting rumbler out here, 3.3 in Mackey, Idaho. We also had a 5.2 in Guangdong, China. It's always China, isn't it? One other quake of note here on the East Coast, a 2.6 in Elgin, South Carolina. Worldwide Volcano News for the 26th, Saturday, April 2025. Raventador, 16,000 foot blast. Home Reef, back to the list, a 4,000 foot puff happening today. Libutobi to 18,000 feet. Ibu on the list, puffing and passing. Sun Gay to 21,000 feet. Home Reef to 4,000 feet. Semidu, who knew? Now you do. 15,000 foot blast there today. Reventador, possible volcanic ash. Lee with Toby to 16,000 foot. Volcanic ash emissions observed at Poas. Ibu puffing as well. San Gay to 22,000 foot. Spectacular eruption today at Lee Watobi Laki Laki in Flores, Indonesia. The eruption sent ash up to six kilometers. Nevada de Ruiz on the list, as well as Ducono with an 8,000 foot blast there. Home Reef, minor intermittent low level eruption continues. Semeru to 15,000 foot, wrapping up the list for the day. Quick look at the Reckianus Peninsula. Low level seismic swarm, nothing indicating eruption just yet. Space weather for April 26th. A solar filament located in the southeast quadrant erupted within the past few hours. The event will possibly be associated with a coronal mass ejection. However, due to the event location at the limb and even behind the limb, it should be directed mostly away from the planet. And there is the shot of the filament in question. And bad news for astronauts headed to the moon. A new electron and proton radiation belt has been identified by Kribe and Reptile 2 measurements after the magnetic superstorm, the Mother's Day superstorm, 10th of May, 2024. Bad news for astronauts flying to the moon. Speaking of flying anywhere, take a look at this debris field. You're looking at the Ada Aquarids meteor shower, the position of it in our solar system. It goes all the way out past Pluto here. And well, if you want to know why we have meteor showers every year at the same time, and is the Taurid meteor stream a threat? Join us in a few minutes over at Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble for an amazing one-hour expose on the discussion where we'll break down meteor showers and what they mean. And well, let's take a look at the Geminids. Look at that small radiant. The Geminids are all within uh, the inside of Jupiter. So lots to learn. Buckle up, Buttercup, and join us at Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble so we can rumble in the jungle. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with like-minded people. And be safe. We love you. And we hope you all join us in a few minutes over at Rumble for the scientific expose of the day. Hey, hey. Me, me, me.